Okay, so I know it's been a couple of weeks. I've been trying to coordinate with a buddy of mine. It didn't work out, so I connected with another friend. And we're gonna throw some lights on his, uh, was it 17, 18? 18, 18 streak light. We already got the bags off, uh, got the seat off. We're gonna be fiddling with the rear wire there. But I had a company reach out to me and I'll put their name down below, uh, wanting me to do an install and review. So welcome to the first install and review in Buffalo's Garage history. So what we've got here, let me flip my little screen around here and get my remote out of the way. Uh, in here, because I've already opened it, because we know I'm impatient, is the peel and stick zip tie mounts and the whole setup. Let's just get that box out of the way. So it's real simple. It, it plugs in line to the existing harness. We'll go over to the bike and take a look. And then the bike harness plugs into it. And then low profile bag lights. There's one and then the other one's just hanging. So uh, I did bring along my alcohol spray, the microfiber, and then we're going to wipe down, get all the oils and residue off the back of the bags here, flip them over, find a couple of spots on the inside to clean off for the peel and stick uh, cable management setup. And then everything plugs in through here and we'll give it a whirl. So let me grab my spray, start wiping. Okay, so we've got that disconnected. You've got your male end, female end, or vice versa, I mean, female end here, male end here. And I don't care how they identify, that's what I'm calling it. So like I said, it just works in line. So push that on, hear the click, lock it into place. Grab the other end, wash, rinse, and repeat. Make sure it's going in the right way. and click. Okay, so now neither of these leads are labeled left or right. So we're gonna plug them in, see what it does. If it's the wrong one, we'll unplug it, flip it over and plug it back in. And that should be what we need. Yeah, none of them are listed, but you can see that they do just dis quick disconnect. So you can, you know, unplug the lights to, you know, wash your, ba your bags or your bike or, or whatever. So quick sec, we'll get the, the bags back on, get them plugged in and see if I've got this wired up the, the right way the first time. All right, well, it's on and I'm displeased. So I'll show you what's going on, but it, the running lights on, the sequential turn signal works. Uh, I'll show you the turn signal before I show you what my problem here is. But you can see it sequentials in amber and it stays on in red, which is great. But here's where the problem comes in. Would you uh, pull the brake for me? He's on the front brake and we've got a sequential. Everything's plugged in correctly. So the only thing I can think is it's got to be a problem in this module here. So. Uh, I am going to be reaching out to the company that sent these to me and just so we know who that is because I told you guys I would let you know uh, come on scroll to the top the company is JMTBNO so and these lights run $32.99 they sell through Amazon uh, so I'm gonna be reaching out to them it's possible it's a fluke and maybe they'll you know send out a replacement module i'm not sure but uh that's just kind of where we're at so i'm gonna talk to the owner of the bike see how he wants to proceed here while i reach out to the seller but i know i've talked in the past about support local buy local when you can uh and i've kind of been semi anti amazon but sometimes you know, these bikes aren't cheap to buy. You know, the really good aftermarket stuff isn't cheap to buy. So sometimes we just kind of have to bite the bullet and get something because more lights is always good. So, and trust me with the other bag on there and it lit up, it looks good. It's, it is low profile. The quality feels good, 
you know and for the price you know it, if the brake worked I, I would 100% recommend them you know you know I've got the custom dynamics ones on mine but we're talking I think 180 200 dollars for theirs 32 and change for these ones so and they felt good the quality it felt good in the hand it felt similar to custom dynamics granted it's not going to be exactly the same but you wouldn't expect that for uh what a quarter of the price so uh that's where i'm gonna go ahead and end this one i said i'll i'll put the link down below i'm hoping this is just a fluke and they'll get back to me and we'll figure out a resolution to what's going on and i will keep you guys in the loop as to what they say uh but at the moment I'm not going to recommend them, but I'm not going to not recommend them until I find out what they tell me about how to go about fixing this. So, okay, so it's a couple of days later. I did reach out to the company that sent me the lights, and I'm not sure how I'm going to stitch all of this in here, so forgive me if it's a little out of sequence. But I uh, reached out to them asking uh, why, when you pull the brakes, the the lights come on and flash kind of like it's a like they're the hazards apparently that is how they're designed so running is just red blinker is an amber sequential and brake both lights come on in an amber sequential outboard which is it's weird um i i don't personally like that you know i feel like if you're going to hit the brakes your lights need to go brighter red not a hazard design so that's that's probably going to be my one negative on these lights is uh the brakes don't look like brakes but like i said as far as the quality goes they feel pretty nice they don't stick out real far you know it's a nice smokes and they do blend in real well so i mean for added lights added lighting you know they, they do the job for the price point they do the job i appreciate that everything is included to make this work uh there were no directions so if you're not if you haven't done this before or you're not in you know somewhat inclined to do this kind of stuff you know directions would be nice but fortunately it all is all very simple it's all just one or two plugs you know but if you're looking for extra lights and you don't have a big budget and uh, you don't care if your brake lights look like hazards, you know, for 33 bucks, uh, this could definitely be for you uh, as opposed to the 180, 220 for the custom dynamics. You know, th those are, are bright and they're worth the money. But if you're on a tight budget and you want extra lights for safety, Check these guys out. Sorry, those wasps that about fell on my head. Uh, check them out. Uh, so I'll put a link down on the bottom. You can get them in red or smoked, uh, and they are amber sequentials. So, and you know, I'll have the name. I'll I'll put the name up on the screen too uh, of the company. So I don't have any codes. You know, any discount codes. It doesn't help me at all. There's no kickback. So if you guys are looking to do it, you're just doing it for you, not not for me. So. That's all I've got. We're probably going to flash over to the closeout from a couple of days ago. So questions, comments, concerns, as always, drop them down below. I'll get back at you. And I've got something else I've already ordered uh, that's showing up uh, on Monday. Today's Friday. So I'll have another video coming at you here soon. That one's for the Springer. And then I got a big update also with the Springer that you're going to have to sit tight. And I'll fill you guys in when that one shows up, hopefully in a few weeks. So that's about all I got. We'll catch you guys next time. Later.